like to uh, start off by thanking the councilwoman, the new councilwoman. Um, I've never met her, but I just to see who she was in Scotia, from my neighborhood, uh, where I now live. But I also come from Woodlawn, and I don't think it's fair that she speak on behalf of the entire district about um, the field in District 5, we can go to District 4, because most of the District um, 5 is going to be without a field, is majority to bringing children who I'm going to stand firmly for. So just moving it closer to the river and closer to our side of the city doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm also going to say that since Monday, uh, listening to all the um, input that, that was given, and I heard the word environmental racism come up a lot, and I've been thinking about that. Um, it doesn't make sense, environmental racism. It's, it's the environment is not creating this divide. It's the people sitting at the table deciding what's going to happen to our fields that is creating the racial divide. So, although I'm glad that they brought up this prettier word for it, um, but for those of us who have been putting up with all the racial divide in the city for many years, um, I'm going to just call it what it is. It's racism coming from the city hall. Point blank. Period. Let's stop bringing it up because we don't want to hurt people's feelings. On Monday, we saw quite a display of when people get their feelings hurt, you know, they get the storm out of the world. Well, we don't get paid to be here. I've left my family at home. These people are not getting paid to be here, to come here and watch what's happening to our community via the council. So we're kind of here to babysit you, not the other way around. So Monday was almost a display where let's see who we can control. We are all adults here. No one's going to tell us how we should feel about what you guys are proposing, voting on, or whatever. If we are operating with emotion, that's our job because we feel compassion for our, our, our city. You guys are paid to sit here and stare me in the face as I talk and not answer me. And I'm okay with it. I can storm out of the room, but you're not, no one's paying me to stay here and put up with what is being said. So I, I, I don't think that it's okay for council members to pull a tantrum and leave the room because something makes you uncomfortable. That's going to happen. You took the seat for a reason. So I'm going to end by saying the same way that you have a council president, so make sure that the council is in order. Don't worry about what the rest of us are doing out there, okay? We're going to react to what you guys are doing. <laughs> when, and when these people came here on Monday and pointed their heart out to you guys, and to the planning development people and the city solicitor, and then to have them stand here after we're all done talking to say, well, you know what? Uh, yeah, we, we, we probably heard what they said, but we're going to find a loophole to sell it anyways. We're supposed to just hold our mouth shut and not say nothing? We're going to react. We're humans. Like I said, you guys get paid to be robots, not us. We're going to react from over there. You worry about what you're doing in your seats over here. No one's going to check me. I'm an adult. I come here. I'm wasting my time to come here because I care, not because no one's paying me to do it. So I don't expect none of you to be paying here to tell me how I'm going to act out there. If you guys have to have a meeting to figure it out how you guys are going to react when we do something out there and you're going to pull a tantrum and walk out of the room, then do that. Check yourselves first before you decide you want to check the community who's voting for you to be here. 